Fucked up, just uh, look at Okay. Floor is yours, sir. The earth is what we all have in common. This is a quote by Wendell Berry, and it really summarizes what we as a society should focus on. Although the idea of space travel can be enticing, Earth is our one and only home. As someone who has faced many struggles in their life and has seen struggles, we have problems that we must focus on on our planet before we can th begin to think about space travel. Everyone goes through struggles, whether it be a lack of housing, food, clothing, or financial stability. Everyone has issues that stem from a problem on our planet. Once we look beyond that into space, we neglect what we have. What is it about space? Is there a reason that we should care more about space than our own planet? I do not believe so. Today I'm going to give you guys three reasons why I think space exploration is a negative for our society. That being space travel is dangerous, creates international conflict, and has detrimental effects to our planet. Starting with the first of those three points, that being space travel is dangerous. According to Space Weather, titled Risk Due to X-ray Flares During Astronaut Extravehicular Activity by Smith and Scallow in 2007, most energetic solar proton events can produce lethal biological doses that require careful consideration of radiation risk for manned space travel. That may have just sounded like a lot of big words, but what it is getting at is that being in space exposes you to deadly radiation, which makes you pose the question, is it too risky? Now, space is just one side of the coin, making out the atmosphere is another. A lot if most initial space spacecraft trial tests fail. And even once they're tried and tested, mistakes can still happen. One of those being the Space Shuttle or Challenger. According to Seven Accidents and Disaster in Spaceflight History by Jonathan Hogback, a malfunction led to it breaking apart and the death of all crew members. This happens and isn't too uncommon, which again poses the question, is it too risky? After hearing the dangers of space, not only in it, but getting there, you can see space exploration is dangerous, which is a negative for our society. Now that I've talked about how space exploration is dangerous, I'm going to talk about the international conflict it creates. Space exploration creates international conflict, which is not good for our society. According to Addressing Disaster and Health Risk for Sustainable Outer Space by Harris, Duda, Kelman, and Glick in 2022, a problem may arise such as an American being stuck in the International Space Station and not being able to get back on a Russian spacecraft. This would be because of the invasion of Russia and Ukraine. Now, this is just a small recent example in our history of space causing an international conflict problem, but there are bigger ones and more in-depth looking into the past and how the space race pushed tensions in the Cold War era between the USA and USSR. Now, it just pushed tensions and there wasn't anything really deadly about it, but looking to the future, you could think, what if they had a race with bombs in space, for example? After hearing from these astronomers, you can see that space exploration creates international conflict, which is a negative for our society. Now that we looked at how it's how space, now that I talked about how space exploration creates international conflict, I'm going to talk about how space exploration can have a detrimental effect on our planet. Space exploration has been increasing in popularity, and with that is using more fuel, according to Keyes 2023 in the article Projected Increase in Space Travel May Damage Ozone Layer. Kerosene burning rocket engines emit exhaust directly in the stratosphere, where a layer of ozone protects all living things on Earth. The destroying of this layer can cause things like skin cancer and weaken immune systems. Now I'm sure everyone has quit something because it was bad for them, so why do we continue to do this bad thing to our planet? Some may say it will help us find a new home. There have been lots of talks recently about finding habitable planets, but this is far from the case. According to NASA 2023 Solar System Facts, two aircrafts launched in 1977 are still thousands of years from mixing the core cloud. Now, this is about, it's really blurry, but this is where they about where they are, and that's a hundred away. And then this is the exit of the orc cloud around a hundred thousand. Now, the orc cloud stretches about 1.6 million light years. And the closest habitable planet to us is four light years away. Now, if these aircrafts are still thousands of years away from exiting the orc cloud, how long does something we launch now take to actually reach a habitable planet. It's very unlikely this will happen in our lifetime, and we should focus on more important stuff on our planet. After hearing from government officials, you can see space exploration is detrimental to our planet, which is a negative for our society. Today I talked about how space exploration is a negative for our society, and the three points I talked about was how it is dangerous, creates international conflict, and is detrimental to our planet. Space exploration is glorified as this big, great thing, but the next time you think about space exploration, think about the negatives. You care about things that negatively impact your life, so why not care about things that negatively impact our planet? 
Earth is our one and only home, so we must protect it. It is the home of every person you'll meet, every interaction you'll have, and every memory you make, not space.